every human being in America has the privacy of medical rights. It is why that we have a particular law on the books called HIPAA. Don't ask me to tell you what it stands for because I don't remember half the time. But HIPAA, H-I-P-P-A, is a law that says that your healthcare providers and the people who work in the clinics around your life do not have the right to disclose or dispense or publicize or distribute information about your life and your medical situations. What we're talking about, of course, is what illnesses you've had, what diseases you're battling, what your genitalia look like or not, what your medical records say, and openly anything, any notes that the doctor might choose to note in that record. At the same time, any notes that he makes on things that you have said or are planning to say in an upcoming meeting with him. Does that make sense? That the entire conversation, the entire interaction, the entire financial transaction is private. You see, people don't get that. And people are foolish and people are immoral about what they think is their lawful right to speak on or not. If you're taken into someone's confidentiality, meaning that someone extends to you information about privacy, that is a privilege. It is not a right to disseminate that information. If you've received information about something and someone, you don't have the right to investigate it, and you certainly don't have the right to, commit it, to communicate that someone has created some sort of fraud, because you are not that person, and you are not the medical providers, and you are not the ones assigned to do that. So let's talk about where your rights begin and end in medical records. If you are you, you have rights to your records. If you are not someone, you have no rights to their records. You have no rights to dispel it. You have no rights to hold on to it. You have no rights to copies of it. Typically, only a spouse, someone who is lawfully married to you, either in God's house or in the laws of the land and laws of international them, do you have the right to help in someone's medical situation. We, of course, all can take anyone we choose into a medical office to be an advocate for us, but that does not entitle them fully to rights to us. If we ask someone to be present, it might be just to introduce that personality to someone so that an evaluator can get a sense of where you've come from. The evaluator might also be a little bit more uh, standoffish because of the additional presence, or it will be better prepared for that meeting because they will know that someone else is hearing them. What they have to say is actionable. What I'm talking about is that we in America have the right to second and third opinions, but this continuity of care consideration with the technologies that are being put across the nation is almost obliterating the privacy records that we have in medical situations, and that is immoral and incredibly illegal. And the truth is, if you're not a medical practitioner, if you're not someone that someone has personally chosen to help with their medical situation, whatever the nature of it might be, you are not entitled to take those records anywhere at any time to make any copy, to share anywhere, to disseminate any information that's not yours. This is what COVID is sort of ruining for a lot of us because if someone doesn't have a mask on, you don't know whether or not they have COVID. If someone does have a mask on, you don't know whether or not they have COVID. If someone is handling your food, you don't know anything about the illnesses that they might be carrying other than the fact that if you're sensitive, like me, where you literally can touch a door handle and go, this needs to be claimed, you know what your capabilities are. Now, to move us through this concept is not stupid. To remind people of how gossip obliterates people's privacies, harms people's lives, and openly gets them some notoriety of being a shitbag or a gossip is, is important. Because someone might have taken you into their confidence, but you don't have the right to spread that around. 